Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk a little bit about camouflage in paintball. There's been, you know, a discussion slash debate for pretty much as long as paintball has existed over the degree to which it is useful to wear camouflage for concealment in paintball. There are a whole lot of good reasons why camouflage really isn't useful in paintball, or you wouldn't expect camouflage to be useful in paintball. First and foremost, if you're moving, Whatever camouflage you're wearing probably isn't going to work very well unless you're wearing like a predator armor that, you know, just mimics whatever background you're in. The human eye is trained to look for movement. So if you're moving, even if you have the most perfect camouflage pattern for your environment, you're going to get seen because you're moving. Given the fact that in paintball, you're moving a lot of the time, camouflage won't help you in those situations. Also, most of the camouflage that paintballers use are military patterns. You see things like Woodland, Multicam, Marpat, UCP, you see a lot of military patterns in paintball and very few non-military patterns for the most part. You do see some hunting patterns, which are a different story. But for the most part, you see military patterns. And military patterns are designed, for the most part, to work at a specific distance, usually a fairly long distance, one to 300 meters. And as we all know, paintball doesn't take place within the range of one to 300 meters. It takes place within the range of 10 to maybe 30, 40, maybe 50 meters. So even if you have a really good camouflage pattern, it'll be outside of its optimum range. For the most part, there's a couple of exceptions, and that will prevent uh, the camouflage from working up to its fullest capacity. There are some exceptions to that. Tiger Stripe, for instance, was designed to work best in very close quarters, within 50 meters or so. So Tiger Stripe is kind of the exception to that rule uh, as far as the distance goes. But that brings me to my next point, environment. Tiger Stripe is designed for a very specific environment. Jungles with lots of bright greens with long leaves like ferns, that kind of thing. That's why it's a very wavy horizontal pattern. So in its environment within that distance, it'll work very well. But outside of its optimum environment, it's not going to be as effective. And that holds true for all camouflage patterns. So if you're using six color desert, chocolate chip, or three color desert, and you're not moving, and you're at the optimum distance for that pattern, and it's all good, except you're in a forest, then it's not going to help you very much. And there are very few paintball fields that are completely uniform in terms of their environment. Now the way to get around this environmental problem is to use a more universal pattern. So multicam, for instance, has become very popular recently. You see a lot of people in UCP, the new, new at this point, whatever, army pattern that was designed to be a universal pattern. You start seeing other things like ATAX FG, Pencott Badlands is now out there. So these more universal patterns that kind of get around having to have uh, the exact right camouflage for your environment. So. While we're starting to get around that problem, these uh, other problems with camouflage and paintball still remain. However, there are a few reasons why it's still useful to have camouflage and paintball. As anyone who's played paintball knows, camouflage can still work. It can be hard to see people sometimes, even if they're at the wrong distance and don't have the perfect camouflage pattern for their area. It's not going to be as effective as if you were viewing a pattern at its intended distance and environment. But we've all had those instances where you saw somebody just a second too late, or maybe somebody saw you just a second too late. So it can still work in a lot of situations. Even if it's not perfect, suboptimal doesn't mean ineffective. And secondly, it just looks cool. If I could get all my gear in Tiger Stripe, I probably would, because I really like it. It looks really cool. As it is, I have a lot of my stuff in Multicam, which I think also looks really cool. And for the most part, is actually pretty effective because it's, again, one of those multi-terrain patterns that's effective in a lot of different ways. On those grounds, you know what? If Even if it's not perfectly effective, you might get some use out of it, and what the heck, it'll look cool. So go for it, wear camo if you want. There's one more thing I want to talk about here, which is kind of a special case, and that's the ghillie suit that the paintball snipers wear. I kind of feel two ways about this. One, it's probably the most effective camouflage that you're going to see on a paintball field because somebody who is ghillied up is going to be extremely difficult to see. At the same time, once you see them, that ghillie suit is just a giant piece of bounce armor. So I'm torn on that question because yes, it's effective for its intended purpose, offering concealment, but it's also effective for what may or may not be an intended purpose, which is essentially what I consider a form of cheating, which is wearing uh, enough material to induce bounces. So I don't like that. But again, it is an extremely effective form of camouflage. So those are my thoughts on camouflage and paintball. Really my uh, 
10 second take on it is you know what it looks really cool get a pattern you like tiger stripe ucp a swiss alpen flash is a really cool one that works really well in the fall actually in in temperate woodlands in the fall just pick a pattern you like and go for it don't worry too much about whether it offers perfect concealment because it's not going to and that's not really what you should be looking for but um if it floats your boat go for it that's my opinion thanks for watching see you next time